On this episode of Decoded, we welcome the Homework Design Studio. Homework Design Studio is a full-service interior design studio founded by designer Randall Waddle, a current member of the American Society of Interior Designers and a member of the HGTV Professional Designer Network. His portfolio consists of residential and commercial projects, along with conceptual design and implementation. Their clientele steps outside of the shores of Trinidad and Tobago and throughout the wider Caribbean. Randall brings his professionalism and talent to each and every project to ensure that his clientele are 100% satisfied. Today on Decoded, we are thrilled to get a behind-the-scenes look at the full renovation for a three-bedroom apartment in Bayside Towers. Bayside Towers, just off the Western Main Road, is a private condominium comprising of two towers facing east and west, with luxury island living at the forefront of their philosophy. For homeowners looking to combine luxury with island life, Bayside Towers is the place to get that in spades. From the spectacular gulf view, perfect for watching the sunset, to the spacious garden and grounds, as well as a resort-like pool, there is something for everybody to enjoy. However, there is a lot more to Bayside Towers than simply being a feast for the eyes. There are also practical amenities to entice homeowners into making the towers their premier choice to buy or rent. Bayside residents enjoy a full range of comforts that include 24-7 security, an underground parking garage, a moderately sized tennis court, and a communal pool. There is also a convenience store and salon for residents and visitors alike. Ideally situated along the coast, the towers are in close proximity to West Mall, Massey stores and fast food joints, as well as a top-notch private hospital. When the client asked me to come and see this apartment, um, he had just bought it and the reality was is that it was a sort of a hodgepodge of different design elements that obviously had been implemented over the years by previous owners. So we had different tile heights, different tile styles throughout the apartment in the main living areas, in the kitchen, in the bedrooms and they have two kids and so we wanted to make sure that the three bedroom was going to be done in a way where it was cool and comfortable but a little bit of elegance thrown in. So the design concept grew from that and we knew that we had to transform the entire space from floor to ceiling. And when we're working in an apartment complex like this, obviously um, we have some infrastructure challenges that don't allow us to do too much um, revision of the spatial plan. So what I did was try to access literally every spare inch that we could and whether that was from uh, moving internal walls or even trying to steal part of the ceiling height, it would allow even a visual representation of a larger space. So the beginning, we begin with literally gutting the apartment, removing all of the items within it then we go on to removing all of the infrastructural items such as the tiles, um, lighting fixtures, um, existing sanitary wear, uh, vanities, that kind of thing, as we are going to be doing everything custom from the beginning. Next up is the installation phase. Crystal is the epitome of a modern-day working woman, and her husband Ravi is ready to take up the baton to handle the cooking at home. Yeah, babe. Hey, hon. I can't talk right now. Busy cooking. I had a really long day today, and I just hope dinner is ready when I get home. 
I got it handled, don't worry. Okay, bye. Ravi is a modern day man and also a professional stay at home gamer. Lewis Appliances has Ravi covered with appliances that implement modern technologies so that he can monitor the household chores right from his phone. All for you. Call us today for the most up-to-date appliances if you want to get more couch time and keep your wife happy. Modern living by fence. This piece right here is special. Perfect. Now it's time to get ready for the installation phase. The rooms must be cleared and furniture tucked away safely in order for the work to commence. for the bathrooms of this apartment were great fun. I really enjoyed the challenge of the small space that we had. First thing I did was make sure that at least we had vanities that were floating off of the floor to give us a sense that the floor space was larger than it was. I opened up the showers and just created all glass enclosures. After Randall makes his selections for the bathroom tiles, the construction crew starts tiling the bathrooms. Drainage in a bathroom, of course, cannot be overlooked, but it doesn't mean that it has to be insignificant. To give it a little style, in this case, for the master bathroom, I used a linear drain sourced from Wang Tong Agencies Limited, and it really does make a great difference to the whole presentation of the shower area for the bathroom. The next installation phase is working on the electrical elements and reconfiguring the wiring. Now they are building a shelving unit for the living room. When it came to the kitchen design on this project, it was a lot of fun because the existing kitchen obviously was very dated and we knew we were removing it. So the decision to redesign for the space was a great challenge because we were limited infrastructurally, but we still needed to achieve much more storage and of course the efficiencies of cooking in a space like this. So the first place I looked was up and the best place to steal volume for a room from is from your ceilings. So um, we removed the floating ceiling and we did trough ceilings which gave us a little more um, height. Um, that allowed us to put in a fan and some extraction for ventilation and made the kitchen itself feel larger. When it came to cabinetry, it is all very contemporary lines, all inlet um, pantries um, for ease for the client to access their products and stuff. The kitchen was specially ordered in parts from the UK and Italy. Now it's time for the kitchen to be assembled and installed. Fun things on site this morning, always a challenge. 
kitchen is being installed. And of course, we happen to hit a plumbing line, so we have a little bit of a leak, um, which is better than a flood. So all will be good. I'm not worried in the least. It'll all be cleaned up, and we'll be good to go again very shortly. That's exactly what we want. Nice. So when this all comes out, closet will be full height doors. So when client opens, they have lots and lots of access and we have lighting inside. And um, joiners just want to get framing and stuff in today as much as possible. So I'm glad you did this for me, Jeff. Thank you. No Beautiful. Okay, living room and dining room. Lighting is under control. TV wall looking good. This is our niche wall. I'm not gonna tell you what's gonna be in there yet. It's gonna be another surprise. But in the reveal, I'll let you see it. Other than that, it's a mess, but we're gonna be good to go very, very soon. Tiles have to go home, and scooting guys have to come and put things in, and once they do all that, it's gonna look much better. Next up, the finishing touches. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's do that, 40 and 30. Caron gets home after a hard day of work, excited to see his lovely wife. <sighs> Honey! Please, just a bit lower. I've been begging for this all week. He hears a man's voice in the kitchen and does not hesitate to reach for his bat to scare away any unwanted intruders. Hi, honey. What's going on here? Hmm? This is a guy from Lewis Appliances. He just serves the fridge, he fixed a leak on the washer, and now he's attending to the dishwasher. Oh. In the end, it was just the LA guy, servicing his appliances. At Lewis Appliances, we don't just sell and leave. Our pristine after-sale service ensures that you and your family never have to worry about breakdowns or part replacements again.
now that the major work on the apartment is completed, it's time for the final touches. I think the only way to do this is to stop them. Yeah, because I, I can't think of, there's nowhere else to put anything that is going to be in someone's way, and I don't want to use that wall. So I think this is, you know, it's going to be a sliding shower, so it's a fixed glass panel here and a sliding, oh, which reminds me, they're supposed to come today too. Like that. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's do that, 40 and 30. Mm, let's put it over. This is um, me so I can rest my phone. So if you want to sit here for a long period of time, you can. Jeff, the idea is, is for this whole wall in the living room to be um, wallpaper and including the wall with the air conditioner and our niches. So we need to mud these walls to make sure they're as clean and as flat as possible. Um, it's the master and what we're going to do is this is going to be the TV wall. So we will have the wallpaper on this wall as well and then um, when we turn around it's gonna be, this is going to be the bed wall. So we'll do that one time as well. So again, anything that you see that is sticking out, I just need perfectly smooth walls. And then we should be finished with that. Great, thanks very much. Randall heads on over to Sherwin Williams to select the paint for the space. heads on over to Fenn's showroom to select the furniture for the apartment. Hey guys, today I'm shopping for furniture for a new project at Bayside Towers at my favorite treasure trove, most commonly known as Modern Living by Fenn's. Come on, join me. We're here today to pick very specific pieces for the new project at Bayside Towers. We have, as planned, coffee tables, some side chairs, bedding, accessories, and some other treasures that we're gonna find. Come on. I really need some sort of little greenery accents just to soften it a little bit. This is great. I love this two-tiered piece. Yeah, that would work perfectly. Kind of soft tones in color. Really nice. Oh, this is great. Love this fern and this kind of two-tiered cactus. Very nice, we work in a great corner. Ooh, this could be perfect. Oh, I'm super comfortable. You know why it's perfect? Because on my plan, there's a specific place in the living room where I need a small chair and a little ottoman. These are great because they have excellent pops of color. This is mohair, so it's nice and comfy. And if you know me, I love a swivel chair. So this is a keeper for sure. And you know what? I think I'm taking this too. Throw cushion time. So we need some color. 
This is great. Lovely color. Ties in a little bit with our red for our chair and a little bit of our green for our ottoman. A little black, a little natural wicker tan piece in there. Oh, zebra. Now you're talking. You can have some fun with that. This one is hiding. Oh, perfect. Ah, beautiful. Not only does the globe have color, but it reminds us of where we want to go in the world. This one's coming with me. I need two stools for the kitchen, and by the looks of it, they have quite the selection. But I already know which two I want, so stay tuned to find out. I'll give you a tip. Circular, especially if you're using it in a living room and you have a sectional similar to this, is perfect because it gives you the correct amount of walking space all around. And it's actually great if you have kids, like I have on this project. Still looking for my coffee table. Some nice options up here though. This one, a little too eggy. This one is the circle, but not exactly what I was looking for. But ah, now this looks like the ticket. 48 inches, that's perfect. Not only is it the perfect size, but it's actually the perfect table. And why? Has the smoked glass that I wanted, has the wood trim to warm up the space, and the storage underneath is beautiful. And when you're sitting down, you can put your feet up on the rim and enjoy the show. Caron gets home after a hard day of work, excited to see his lovely wife. <sighs> Honey! Please, just a bit low. I've been begging for this all week. He hears a man's voice in the kitchen and does not hesitate to reach for his bat to scare away any unwanted intruders. Hi, honey. What's going on here? Hmm? This is a guy from Lewis Appliances. He just served the fridge, he fixed the leak on the washer, and now he's attending to the dishwasher. In the end, it was just the LA guy, servicing his appliances. At Lewis Appliances, we don't just sell and leave. Our pristine after-sale service ensures that you and your family never have to worry about breakdowns or part replacements again. Hey guys, welcome to my Bayside project. It was four months of a lot of very hard work, but it's all done and it's absolutely beautiful. I couldn't be more proud. Come and check it out with me. 
This is our living and dining space in one. I kept it very casual and comfortable, but with this just touch of elegance, the client loves it and I'm super happy with it. Beautiful wallpaper, such great texture, very neutral palette, but makes such a difference. <sighs> this is easily my favorite spot in the apartment. I love this cozy little corner, this beautiful, super comfy chair with its ottoman. The pops of color are great. I'm next to my fireplace. I can have great conversation and enjoy my view. Read a book and then just relax. And when I'm done, I can simply store the books and anything else in my ottoman and I'm good to go. This kitchen actually is finished beautifully. We got tons of storage, but it did have a few challenges to start with. We had a limited space, so the only way for me to go was up. So I took out as much ceiling as I could, and that gives the eye the feeling that we have a bigger space. We widened the entrance of it a little bit, and then for all of my storage, I literally went floor to ceiling. Did huge fridge and freezer unit, so that there's lots of cold storage. We built in our microwave and oven and did large lit pantries next to them on both sides for storage. Then we have our cooktop with lots of storage for cooking utensils and a wonderful dishwasher, big, great stainless steel apron sink and a chiller for drinks and juices. This is the master suite, a beautiful, relaxing environment to be in. It's a great place to have a seat, read a book, lie in bed, enjoy the view, watch TV, and close the door from the children. And this way, behind this door, is my favorite bathroom. It's a great size space, a beautiful sliding glass door, so we don't consume any footprint of space to enter the shower love this mosaic and I did it with a high contrast grout so we can absolutely see the pattern continuously. Then we had beautiful textured tiles, almost like a linen on the walls. And then a double vanity, lots of storage. And a tip that you may have noticed is that I like to take everything off the floor, making the space feel larger. And then of course, this beautiful backlit mirror That you've seen it. Another completed project, another satisfied client. Thank you so much for coming along. I'm off to the next adventure.